let's check the SWR response of this Yagi dual band 5x5 Yagi antenna for amateur frequency before I ship it to Mr. Money. So this is the UHF side gamma match. Make sure that you tighten the nut on those speed points and just put back the tuning stub. I will be putting a marking tapes on those uh, part for reference. The other side is for the VHF side. <coughs> this is the gamma match for the VHF side. You just need to put back the tuning stub on the top and part of the gamma match. Make sure that you tighten the heat point. Connect the pacing harness together with the T connector on both sides. And this is now connected to the vector impedance analyzer for testing. So let's check the frequency response. So the center frequency is 144 at 1.1 or 1.2 SWR going down to 140. Let's see. 143 is 1.21. 142 is 1.36 or 1.4. 141 is 1.58 or 1.6. 140 is 1.8. Let's go up. So 145 is 1.2. 1.24 146 is 1.36 or 1.4 147 is 1.54 or 1.5 148 is 1.7 and 149 is 1.8 150 is 1.7 so let's check the VSWR carb as we can see this is the VSWR carb with the lowest point on the car is 144 MHz at 1.188 or 1 1.2 SWR so let's check the S11 or antenna reflection coefficient So impedance is at 58 or 58.41 ohms. Resistive load at 58.18 ohms. Reactance is at 4.34 ohms. And S11 carb is 21.51 dB. Antenna reflection coefficient for the VHF side. So let's check the UHF side. <clears throat> so we need to adjust the frequency. So let's put this to 440 for the high band. 440. So let's set that to zero and the low band is 430 430 so let's put this to zero So that's our S11 carb. So let's check the lowest point on the carb. Set 
connected to zero. So our center frequency is four three four point five four three four point five at reflection coefficient of minus twenty five point ninety four dB. So let's check the BSWR carb. So that's our BSWR carb from 430 to 440. Our SWR is 1.8 from the center 434. Going to 440. So that's our frequency carb. 434.5 is 1.1 Impedance is 47.98 ohms Resistive load is 47.70 or 80 ohms 47.80 ohms and reactance is 4 minus 4.3 ohms So let's check the individual frequency response from 4.30 going to 4.40 so 4.30 is 1.7 or 1.8 going to 4.31 is 1.7 4.32 is 1.5 433 is 1.3 4.34 is 1.1 4.35 is 1.1 4.36 is 1.3 4.37 is 1.5 4.38 is 1.6 and 4.39 is 1.7 or 1.8 and 4.40 is 1.7 or 1.8 so let's check this with the SX400. So I have uh, the NC2900 at 60 watts. So let's check the BHF side SWR response of this antenna. So let's move the feed line and connect it to the SX400 so let's move this and let's secure the coax to the back of the SX400 So this is now connected to the SX400 going to the antenna. Yes, that's it. <clears throat> so let's turn on the radio. So let's set this to uh, high power so low one is 10 watts low one is 5 watts low 2 is 10 watts low 3 is 30 watts and high is uh, 60 watts so let's calibrate on one four 
four. So let's press the PTT and set the SWR to zero. So we can see on the needle. So that is the zero point release and we are on the zero. So let's check the SWR. As we can see we have 1.2 SWR on 144. So let's check 145. So let's recalibrate again. Switch to calibrate position. Zero the needle. Set the needle to zero or infinity position. Maximum full deflection. That's it. And switch to SWR mode. As we can see, still 1.2 on 145 megahertz. Let's check the bottom frequency 140. Calibrate. So we have full detection, switch to this WR mode, and we are 1.8 SWR on 140. So let's check 148. <coughs> let's recalibrate. Set the full deflection. Oops, we are on full deflection. Adjust it a bit. Full deflection on 148. Switch to SWR mode and we are 1.6 SWR on 148 MHz. So let's recheck center frequency 144. Let's recalibrate. Adjust the needle to full deflection. We are on full deflection. Release. Recheck. We are on full deflection. Switch to SWR mode. And we are 1.2 SWR on 144 megahertz. So let's check the forward power. And this is 200 watts at 200 watts. So our output power is 60 watts. at 144 megahertz so that's it and this is working on the VHF side let's check the UHF side but I need to replace the radio so stand by for a while so I have now connected this antenna to the SX400 so we're going to test the UHF side. This is now connected to the same antenna. Feed line connected to the facing harness going to the feed point of the 5x5 Yagi antenna. So let's go back. Let's check the frequency response. So let's check the poor... Uh, SWR on 434 so we need to calibrate press the PTT this is range is only 20 watts so we need to recalibrate 434 so that's 
full deflection on 4-3-4 As we can see, release, switch to SWR mode, and we are one point one on or one is to one on four three four at output power of eighteen watts. So at four three four. We have 18 watts output power. SWR is 1 is to 1. So let's check 430. So let's recalibrate. So we have full deflection at 430. So let's switch to SWR mode. RSWR on 430 is 1.5 output power of 15 watts it's actually fluctuating or 15 watts 15 watts on 430 let's recheck almost the same uh, 16 watts on 430 at SWR of 1.5 so let's check 431 <coughs> calibrate so we need to set it to 0 or full deflection So it's on full deflection at 431 megahertz. Switch to SWR mode and we are 1.4 on 431. Let's check 432. Let's recalibrate. Adjust the needle to full deflection. Release. Check. Full deflection. 432 switch to SWR mode and we are 1.2 on 432 let's check 433 so let's recalibrate set it to full deflection we have full deflection at 433 switch to SWR mode and we have 1.1 SWR on 433 so let's check 435 we already checked 434 the center frequency so let's recalibrate set to full deflection we uh, have 433 uh, 43 have to check 435 435 so let's recalibrate set it to full deflection Four three five. full deflection switch to SWR mode also 1 is to 1 on 435 at Output power of 16 watts or 17 watts at 435. So let's check for 40. The so let's recalibrate the needle, set it to full deflection. We are on full deflection. Adjust it a bit. Full deflection. 440. Switch to SWR mode. And we have 
1.5 SWR on 440. So let's check for 39. So let's recalibrate. So set it to full deflection. We have full deflection at 439, switch to SWR mode, we have 1.5 as well on 438, so let's check 437, uh, 438, so let's recalibrate, adjust the needle until we got full deflection. 438 full deflection switch to SWR mode and we have 1.5 SWR let's check 437 437 so let's recalibrate 437 full deflection release full deflection switch to SWR mode so we have 1.4 SWR or 437 let's check 436 So let's recalibrate. We have full deflection at 436. So let's switch to SWR mode and press PTT. As we can see, we have 1.2 S to 1 S to 1 on 436 at output power of. about 15 watts on 436 so that's it thank you for watching